When I looked through the syllabus for Trinity College London's digital Grade 3 recorder exam, I was very happy to see some Tchaikovsky on there. I love Tchaikovsky, but here's the thing. I've been practising, and I think it sounds pretty... terrible. I'll play it for you now, because we might as well just get it out of the way. Then we'll have a short debate as to why I reckon this sounds so terrible, and then we can all move on with our day and try to forget that this crime against a truly brilliant piece of music ever happened. So for the actual exam, I'll be playing along with a CD backing track, but because of copyright, I can't use that for today's video, so you hum it, I'll play it. I mean, you wouldn't listen to it for fun, would you? Now, don't get me wrong, I love this piece of music. I mean, who has anything against the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy? It's just, for me, on my little old recorder, it loses something. Really, it loses quite a lot. When I listen to an orchestra perform this piece, I find it so intriguing. It's light and open and airy, with some sort of sparkle over the whole thing, and yet somehow it manages to have this sinister undertone. It's so elegant, it flows, and yet it gives you the sensation of clockwork. I find it so interesting, but I can't even begin to come close to creating any of that on my recorder. Of course, 99.9% .9 of how this piece is played is down to me and my lack of skill. And I have got to remember that this piece has been transcribed for a solo instrument at grade three, so of course it's had to be simplified a lot compared to how the original would have been. The directions in this piece are to play pretty much the whole thing staccato, and there's just something about that makes me feel like I might as well be playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I think a lot of the success in the original piece are down to the use of dynamics, and there are loads of dynamics to be obeyed in this piece too. But the thing is, those dynamic markings combined with the staccato, when you come to play some staccato notes on a crescendo, it's a very fine line between creating drama or just sort of a squeak. And this is such a huge, well-known piece of music, I would just feel completely wrong trying to add my own ornaments and trills and things to this. I just don't feel I have the right. So having said all of that, I absolutely will not be playing Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy for my grade three exam, will I? Actually, yeah, I am going to use it for my exam. There is a ton of technical stuff to pay attention to during your exam here. There's all those dynamic markings, there's accidentals, there are triplets, there's articulation markings, and I have got to admit that I have got better at playing staccato notes since I started practising this piece 
and I still have a way to go with them so maybe I can make this sound a bit better. And anyway, maybe you completely disagree with me. Maybe you've been playing Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy on your recorder and making it sound absolutely fabulous. I'm sure there are plenty of way better recorder players than me out there who could make this work. It's just that at the moment I feel like I'm stuck in a bit of a staccato squeaky nightmare. In summary, the way I'm currently playing Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy leaves me feeling cold. I'm struggling to get enough emotion into it and I'm worried that all those staccato notes just make it sound a bit... basic? So how would you approach this piece? Any ideas? If for some reason you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I make these vlogs about my journey through the grade exams once every so often, but every week I make a video about the recorder or some other wind instrument, and it would be lovely to see you along next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.